Hey everyone, um, so today I'm going to be doing my favorite drugstore products video and um, we can kind of make this a little more in the middle, there you go. Uh, and I'm just going to be doing like favorite drugstore foundation, favorite drugstore primer. And not only am I going to be doing like makeup products, but I'm also going to be doing hair products and nail products and my favorite drugs are perfume and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just get started so this video's not too long. Okay, so the first thing is favorite drugstore primer. And by far this is my favorite drugstore primer. It's almost my favorite primer of all time, but NARS um NARS Pro Prime kind of beats it out a little bit just because it is so amazing. But this is definitely cl really close to it, and it's this L'Oreal Paris Studio Secrets Professional Magic Refecting Base. And it comes in this glass jar, and this is what the product actually looks like. You guys can see I've used quite a bit. I like this a lot. And it's just like a lotion-y type kind of primer. I have a look right there, and I'm just going to like show you what it looks like. That's like what this kind of product is like. Um, and it's just, you know. like It kind of just like makes your face, it makes your face feel really soft and it also just makes your foundation stay on longer so I really like this primer so much and I like the packaging I feel like the packaging just makes it seem like it's more high end and more fabulous so love that next thing is my favorite drugstore foundation my favorite drugstore foundation would be this covergirl nature Lux foundation and um this shade is way too light for me it never was my shade I should try to take it back to Walgreens um, but it was a long time ago when I bought it so probably never gonna be able to bring it back but my mom thought it was really pale um, and she got me this shade which is the lightest shade I was never this pale I'm never this pale I don't know why she got me this shade um, I think she just kind of thought I was pale because she's really tan so she thought I was pale um, but I'm never really that pale yeah I'm never this pale so but the time I did use it just to see what it looked like, even though it did look stupid, like it was way too light, even though it looked stupid and stuff, it still was really, really good texture and it looked so flawless on the skin. And since it is so light for my skin, I can just kind of swatch it and show you guys how flawless it looks. Or try to. Like this shade, as you guys can see, is like ghostly white, so... Yeah, it's just so flawless and it makes it looks so like silky and stuff. And it's a liquid silk foundation, by the way. Love the foundation. Favorite drugstore foundation so far. I haven't tried too many um, drugstore foundations, but it is my favorite so far of the ones I've tried. Favorite um, drugstore blush would have to be the NYC New York and Color Blushable Cream Stick, and this is in the color Big Apple Blush. Let's see if it focuses. Yep, Big Apple Blush, and it's just, I love these because they're so creamy and amazing and blendable, and it comes with so much product. I'm just going to show you guys how much product it comes with. It actually comes with more than that, but it, it's just I've used a lot of it, but it comes with so much product, and this is just a really pretty color. I mean, I love this color, but I really just like them in general, so this is the only one I have, but I really like them all in general, so it doesn't really matter what color you get, but... It just blends out to be a really pretty rosy glow. And sorry if the lighting's really bad. Um, it's nighttime, it's really dark outside, and I'm filming a video. And I don't think the lighting's that bad, to be honest. So, okay. Moving on to eye products. Favorite drugstore base. I don't have a base that you can't use. It's not a primer. It's just a base, like a cream eyeshadow. So, I'm really sorry. I don't really have any drugstore primers but if I did then I would just tell those ones but I don't I know there's a L'Oreal decrease one or something like that and I heard that one's really good so I don't know though this is just my favorite um drugstore base and this is the Revlon Illuminous Cream Shadow in 730 Skin Light and the packaging is just so cute on the outside I think that's really cute and it has like a good mirror right there it's really good quality and those are the shades it comes with it comes with like a nude which is um kind of similar maybe to it's actually not similar to any of them this one is like a peachy gold color which reminds me of rubenesque i think it's kind of like rubenesque this one right here is like bare study because it's like a cream colored shadow and then a brown which kind of reminds me of um I forget which one it is for MAC, but it's like Conserval, I don't know, something like that. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it starts with a C and it's brown, so whichever one that is, and it looks like this. 
those colors look like that. I'll just watch um, the three that are MAC dupes just because those are probably the three people are more excited about. They're really, really pigmented, as you probably can tell. Um, and they're really creamy. And they don't, like, look foiled on your lids, which is very important. At least to me, that's very, very, very important. That they don't look foiled. Because who wants them to look foiled with an eyeshadow over them? They don't. So, these are really good bases, and I really enjoy them. And I guess you could definitely get the Not Just Nudes one. But this is the one I have, and I really like it, so... Next, moving on to favorite drugstore eyeshadow, and that would be this Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Walking on Eggshells. And I love this so much because it's just amazing quality and amazing colors, and I use this a lot for school. Um, it's like a light pink champagne, a brown color, and a white color. And these are all dupes for MAC eyeshadows, so this one's a dupe for Naked Lunge. This one's a dupe for Cork. And this one's a dupe for Shroom. So let me just show you the swatches. You guys saw me get them on my fingers. And then you guys know how much I really touched them to get these amazing swatches. They're so pigmented. It's crazy. I don't really have anywhere to place them on my hands. The, ones are the one that is the least pigmented is the white one. And you do have to put a little bit more on your finger to swatch that one. But the brown and the pink are just super pigmented they are right there that's the pink one that's the brown one and guys the white one's not showing but yeah so uh, those are really great um eyeshadows because they're so pigmented super creamy like honestly this pink one reminds me of like a um velvet eyeshadow from benefit it's just so pigmented and so velvety soft that I don't even ever want to lift my finger off of it. So I love that eyeshadow trio. Next is my favorite drugstore. Oh, there's a piece of hair like flipping out. That's just annoying. Favorite drugstore gel liner. Liner. Actually, I think this is the only eyeliner I brought out here. So favorite eyeliner. And this is the Physician's Formula. Um, Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Gel. Or, yeah, gel cream eyeliner. This isn't Glam Brown Eyes, but really whatever one matches your eyes is the good one to get. Or you could just get the one that you think is the prettiest colors. It doesn't matter if it if it matches your eye color because any of them will really work. They're just made to pop those color eyes, so it doesn't really matter. This one just comes with a black that has gold sparkles in it. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles, but... Let me try to get it closed. I can't get it closed. There we go. And then it comes with a bronzy brown color. And then it comes with a yellowish gold color. Okay. Which I think would be good as a base. And these are really good for traveling because you can take just one that you need and take them off and... Or if you want to, you could stack them. So I think they're really good, and they're really good um, quality. They are really creamy and very pigmented and nice, so I really like those. Okay, moving on. Oh, favorite drugstore mascara would be either Lash Blast, which I don't have right now, but Lash Blast Volume, I love that. Or the One by One Mascara by Maybelline. Everyone loves this mascara. The shade I have it in, I'm going to see if it's going to focus on this. It's not going to focus. I thought maybe it would focus, but it's in very black. And I love this mascara so much because it never clumps. But this one's kind of starting to get old, so it kind of looks maybe a little clumpy. That's the wand. Or, yeah, wand. And it never clumps, and it makes your lashes very long and luscious. Love that mascara from the drugstore. Moving on to favorite lip products. First is my favorite lip chapstick, and this is the EOS Lip Balm. And this one's just strawberry sorbet, but really whatever one you like is good. And this one I haven't really used that much because I'm trying to finish my other one before I use this one. And it just smells, oops, it smells really good and I like it a lot. These are really moisturizing and nice. Next is my favorite drugstore lipstick. And this one is a Revlon Super Luscious Lipstick in 631 Luminous Pink.
don't know if you guys could read that because it wasn't really focusing so not sure if you can read that but just like this pinky color it's just like a normal baby pink it's very pretty it's like a baby doll or barbie doll pink i guess it's very pretty and i like these lipsticks just in general not just this color i like them in general because they are pretty pigmented that's right it's right there i don't think you guys can really tell but it's right there and they're really pigmented and creamy and nice and they are really nice staying power so i like those a lot and then my favorite drugstore lip gloss doesn't really go over that lipstick, but I love this lip gloss kind anyway. And this is Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in 170 Coral Reef. And you guys probably could not read that, but I love these lip glosses just in general. I have another one in Peach Petal, but my mom has it in her purse. Um, that I usually wear Peach Petal over this lipstick, but again, it's in my mom's purse. But this is just an amazing lip gloss. It's just in the color Coral Reef, like I said, and it's just really... Um, like reddish coral. I'll swatch it you guys. These are really pigmented and you can really build them up or just have a sheer tint. So I really like that about them. And that's that right there. And they're not sticky at all on your lips. They're just really nice. Moving on to favorite nail pro product from the drugstore. And this is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Well Nail, nail Color. And if you guys are wondering what nail color this is actually, it's 02 Green with NV. And I did have this on my nails just before I painted them this. Um, which this is OPI month sooner or later. Just FYI if you guys want to know. But I love these nail polishes. The Extreme Wear Nail Polishes. Because they seem to not chip for a while. And also they're just very nice and pigmented most of them. I haven't bought one of them like this that are sheer. So yeah. And I really do like the brush of them. I'm going to show you guys the brush. But try not to drip anything off onto my table but that's oh crap almost stripped and sorry for my language but it almost stripped okay and that's the wand like brush so yeah and the piece right here is bothering me again okay <laughs> all right and then moving on to my favorite drugstore hair products i have two Usually you're only supposed to pick one, but I had to pick two because I love both these products so much. The first one is Redken Outshine 01 Anti Frizz Polishing Milk. And this is amazing because what I do is I, I squeeze the pump onto my, uh, two pumps actually, onto my hand after I take a shower. Put it in my damp hair and it like makes my hair dry really pretty and curly. I didn't put it in today, but... I usually put it in and it makes my hair dry really nice and curly and like it helps with the frizz a lot. So I need that product because I have really bad frizz. And then the next product is this Fieke, Fieke, Fieke Glossing Sheer Shine Mist. And it comes in this green bottle and it's a pretty much a big product. And you just kind of go from far away, like I'm going to show you guys, from this far away, spray, spray, and you just do it to both sides. And you kind of will get shine. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a little bit more shine. And it's just really pretty shine. So it gives amazing shine. It doesn't look fake. So I love this product, especially when I straighten my hair. Okay. And the last favorite drugstore product would be a favorite drugstore perfume. And I like this perfume, and I actually wore it tonight when we went out to dinner. It's more of a night perfume and more of a mature scent. So if you're like in sixth grade, it's probably not going to be your favorite scent. And I'm almost positive they sell this at the drugstore, but I definitely could be wrong. But I think they sell it at the drugstore. So yeah, and it's the reveal by Haley Berry. And I love this perfume because it smells very mature, but it smells very good and like nighttime-ish. Okay, the cat just decided to fly over there, but it just smells very nightish. Like I wouldn't wear it in the daytime, not at all, but when it's nighttime, it just smells really good and it smells like it's meant for nighttime. So I like it a lot for nighttime and the bottle's pretty cute, so. Yeah, those are my favorite drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, please. Guys, I would really enjoy if you guys subscribed. I think everyone would, though. <laughs> and make sure to subscribe because at 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a room tour, which I really want to do the room tour faster than anyone knows. So just subscribe so then I can't do that room tour at 100 subscribers. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to do a makeup collection at 500 subscribers, I'm pretty sure. So definitely try to make me get to 500 subscribers if you want to see my makeup collection. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!